first of all uh, we'll talk about the angle between two lines the angle between two lines if this these are our two lines say this is l1 and this is l2 this is the angle which we are talking about these are the lines and they are passing through just assume that they are passing through the origin and they have direction ratios as a1 b1 c1 and a2 b2 c2 and let this p be a point on l1 and q be the point on uh, l2 just consider the directed lines this op and oq and they are making theta between them acute angle so we know that what is the cos theta between them this is nothing but a1 a2 plus b1 b2 plus c1 c2 by under root a1 square plus b1 square plus c1 square under root a2 square plus b2 square plus c2 square and the angle between the lines in terms of sin theta we know that sin square theta plus cos square theta is 1 so sin theta will be under root 1 minus cos square theta what it will be just place cos here and just uh, try to solve it this will this will be the equation so if this l1 and l2 they are not passing through origin so here we can take some l1 dash and l1 l2 dash which may be parallel to l1 and l2 which are passing through origin this we can do so instead of the uh, direction ratios in the previous uh, discussion if this l1 and l2 are there instead of uh, using the direct direction ratios if we have direction cosines like the l1 m1 n1 l2 m2 n2 then what will be cos theta this will be nothing but l1 l2 because we don't need that under root uh, a1 square b1 square c1 square here because this is directly the cosine co uh, direction cosines being provided to us so l1 l2 m1 m2 and n1 n2 we know that this square plus this this square and this square they are one if you add the square of the direction cosines they will always be equal to one and sim similarly placing it into under root one minus cos square theta sin theta will be this one so here we observe that two lines if they have direction ratios these and if they are perpendicular that means the angle is what 90 degree right the angle is 20 degree so a1 b, the cos theta will be 90 so cos 90 will be 0 so the a the numerator will be 0 while in the in the case where theta equal to 0 cos 0 is 1 so the ratio will be a1 by a2 b1 by b2 c1 by c2 will be in some ratio so let us find the angle between these two lines now with the equation we have we have uh, say a line r is equal to a1 plus lambda b1 r is a2 plus mu b2 these are two lines one line two line now these are in the vector form so what's, what will be cos theta we have already seen this will be b1 b2 this dot product by the magnitude of b1 b2 and the in cartesian form form the line of equation is this we know that the cartesian form a line of equ line equation is like this so when we find out the cos theta it will be again a1 a1 uh, a2 b1 b2 and c1 c2 divided by the of course the square of the coefficients of ijk uh, let us understand it more by some examples if r is this this is a1 plus lambda b1 this is a2 plus lambda mu b2 we want to find out the angle so we can just take this b1 as this one b2 is this one and theta is simply cos theta is b1 dot b2 divided by under root the b1 b2 magnitude that is 1 square plus 2 square plus 2 square under root and 1 3 square plus 2 square plus 6 square under root so just place it here you get 19 by 21 this will be theta will be cos inverse 19 by 21 if you have to find the angle between the pair of line when the param this cartesian form is given then here we'll take this 3 5 4 and 1 1 2 these are the direction ratios these are our direction ratios we can directly use a1 uh, a2 b1 b2 c1 c2 this is the uh, sum of square of this this is the sum of square of this and just find out this will be cos inverse 8 root 3 by 15 